So these are the things that Jabez is praying about. That God will enlarge his territory. So the video cut off. So again, if you get this in part two, please go back to part one. It's very interesting. Don't miss out on it. So this is part. So we're talking about Jabez's prayer. You know, him asking God to enlarge his territory and to bless him. You know, so people see that you have a lot of new beginnings and these are coming from God. They don't like it. So you're going to have people coming in trying to trick you, to fool you, to see if they can get it, if they can take it away from you. For a lot of you, this did not come overnight. You know, it's like the Knight of Coins, patience to succeed. You were very patient. You wait upon God. Divine timing. And I know, you know, that when it's divine timing for us, it's like it's, it, it seems to take too long. So you patiently wait. You waited for your turn. And now that it's your turn, this is what the these enemies now, they want to come in. You know, it's like, say for example, you go somewhere and the line is so long. And it's like you stand on the right leg and you shift to the left and you rock back and forth. And you look behind you and up and front and all over. And it's like you see little by little you're making progress. And then, wow, wow. It's like you are now first front of the line. You're actually looking back at the people back there and like, wow, I was back there at one point. But you waited for your turn to come. And it's like now when you go up to get your blessing, or to be served, whatever you went to that place for. Then now you have all these people in the back trying to rush in to push you away because they want to whatever you're getting from the, the, the place that you went to. People are now pushing, pushing you away so that they can snatch up what, you, what is yours. It's like you're at the post office. Now it's your time to pick up your packages or whatever. And you have these people in the back trying to grab it to, to steal your stuff. When they were not there, when you had to stand and wait your turn patiently. This, this is what it is. This is what it is with all this, you know, destiny swap and all this jealousy and envy. People don't want to do the work on themselves. They don't want to grow up. People feel entitled as if you owe them something. For some of these people, you don't know them. We don't know them from Adams. One person have an idea and then you have all these little minions, you know, these little chihuahuas who join in because again, they too are lazy. So they think they want to have a cut, a slice of your life when they were not there in the beginning, they were not shooting with you in the gym. Some of these people who could have been there with you, you know, like the song says, back then they didn't want you. Now you're hot, they're all upon you. It's like now they want to come back because they see that you have things going on in your life. They see that you didn't allow their negative words to keep you down. They see that you're an overcomer, you're a fighter. They left you for what they thought was glittering and shiny. Now they realize they're over there on fake grass. It's, it's scratching them. It's sticking them. Now they want to run back. So this is why you have to be careful of the people because, again, they're watching. They're creeping. They're peeping. And so they want to come back. I'm telling you right in the back here, the devil, destructive indulgence. These people are toxic and they're obsessive. I'm telling you, for some of you, some of us, we're going to have to, you know, file lawsuit. Again, the devil with the Knight of Cups. You're going to have to file lawsuit, put restraining order on some of these people 
you know, or who needs to go in straight jacket, you know, that's just where they belong. That's where they belong. You know, so yeah. It it's it's it is like that for a lot of these people because it's like they think you owe them something. They think they are entitled for something and they are not. Hmm. So they want to claim credit for your work. You know, so yeah, so for a lot of you, you know, you could be very creative, the King of Wands. You're dependable, you're very driven, you're goal oriented. You take risk. You're a warrior. You know, it's it's you're a fighter. You go after what it is that you want. And then you have people like the King Sauls in your life who want to take credit because they're envious, they're jealous. That should have been me. And they want what you have. See, with the Ten of Wands, you know, they want to create burdens. For some of these people, you could have been married to, been partnership with. Some of these people could want to marry you just because of what you have. Because they see your growth. They see your growth. Eight of Coins, they see that you're acquiring wealth. You're an expert at what you do. You know, for some of you, you are this queen of wands here. You have this confident ambition. Spirit says, move forward. Move forward where you can meet people or you will have people who are grateful, who will celebrate you. Four of Wands, your own community, you know, where you can reap the fruits of your labor, where you can create and have this harvest. Because if you stay with these people, you're going to be stuck. You're going to be a sacrifice for these people. Yeah. But if you move on, Six of Wands, you're going to have this win. You're going to have this victory. These people, they have no ethics. They have no morals. And so for a lot of you, you know, it's like you could be dealing with, look, you know, uh, uh, somebody who is, again, trickster spirit. It's a lot of people involved here, too. Like I said, a lot of people working together. Some of them, they're very immature. We have a page of coins. We have the magician. We have the high priestess, you know, the three of coins. So a lot of people working together and we have death. And again, we have four of cups. See in this card how, you know, pouring out the four of cups, you know, pouring out the wet red wine. This is why I'm saying be careful how you're drinking things you can't see through as well. You don't know what is in it. People are very deceptive hidden deceit you know they're wearing masks here and they may come off as if they're innocent you know with the seven of swords with the page of coins behind it and then we have the magician with the high priestess is like this person is collaborating or people they're all working together they're probably working together with a reader a devil worshiper somebody who is helping them to cast spells. So again, they come to you with this illusion like they're innocent. They're sending people to you who look as if they're innocent. They want to do business with you. They're interested in doing business or they're so naive because for a lot of you, a lot of us, you could love to help people. And then when they come on as if they're apprentices, oh, can you show me? Can you tell me? Because they want your time for you to be patient with them. Because the goal is so that it's this lust energy that I'm picking up on. It's, it's that spirit of lust. You know, because it's like that damsel in distress. Because some of you may have that savior complex. And so a lot of women will abuse that too. 
where oh I don't know how to do this I can you show me you know when they try when they're trying to again be strategic with the, the the queen of swords but it's all a part of their plan it's all a part of their plan and it's it's for you again I break the card it's the devil again it's for you to realize the devil is in the detail it's kind of like if you're in leadership try not to be alone with anybody male or female by yourself because see they want to get you alone they want to get you alone and then it's your word against theirs because they want to ruin you because the thing is if they can ruin you sideline you then they they can steal what is yours and you can't say anything it's like you're muzzled and they're they're doing your stuff they're taking your money it's kind of like be careful of say women come in next thing you know you have intercourse with them they want to have your baby so they can be tied to your wallet to what you have i mean it, it is so much to learn so much to know i mean and it's it's common sense but common sense is not so common at all it's not very common because as you can see those we think are are wise are great among us they get trip up all the time we get trip up all the time and this is why the devil is circling again the devil is circling again because when he tempted Jesus, he said he departed for a time. So he wasn't finished. You see? So if the devil can play, think, play in Jesus' face, then what do you think he's going to do to us? Wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. This is what we're called to do. This is not the time... To sit down to cuddle foolishness you know it's it's kind of like you know after a while somebody you know being attention seeking after a while is like what do you want because I mean if somebody wants your help is like how slow are they how long is it gonna take them to catch on especially you see you know, the, the cleavage keep getting lower, the skirt keep getting shorter, the lips keep getting redder, you know, the, the muscles bursting out, you know, the, the lips are smacking and the eyes are rolling. It's like, for how long? You're going to keep on then. But when you wake up, I'm telling you, you're not going to like it. You're not going to like it. You're not going to like it. The sun this is the clarity this is this is this is what is shining to let you know what is going on what is in the dark is now coming to light what is in the dark is coming to light it's like this little naivety gullibleness shyness playfulness trying to people please and all of this stuff the enemy knows your routine the enemy knows what you like and this is why they keep sending back the same kind of energy and it's like if your enemy can't get you to fall they will send somebody else to do it they will pay somebody else to do it why because you're an investment they're looking at the roi the return on their investment is gonna be greater so this is why they're willing to go to the extreme and the extent to do what they do. How many times have we seen on the news people married, people this, and then, you know, they, they do all kind of things. And you're like, how can people do this? Well, you may not have the stomach to do it, but it doesn't mean that another person won't do it. 
especially when you know you're in a, a, a very delicate period of your life, you're making certain transition, oh yeah, you better have your sword up. This is not the time to fool around. This is the time to when you see what the devil is doing, you just laugh in its face and walk right by it. Not today, Satan, not ever. You may have caught me before, but not again. Not again. So if anybody paid that stooge to come towards me, they just lost their money. And you're going to keep losing money. Because I have my eyes set on the prize. God is for me. He's for the collective. Who can be against us? We are protected. We are covered under the blood of the Almighty God. And whatever God has for us, with this abundance, this prosperity, nobody can stop us. The weapons may form, but they cannot, they will not prosper. You will never, ever take what is ours. Because we wait. We waited our turn. We waited for our time. And it is now time for us to be blessed. And we are going to be blessed. And there's nothing that you and your minions and the devil can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. Absolutely nothing. They can't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. King of Cups, you're loving. You know, these people, they're going to be stuck in their own traps that they set for you. Because it's like they're so busy trying to create all of these things for you, traps for you, that they're going to fall right back into it. And then it's like you're hating on our spirituality and our psychic gift. So don't you think that God is going to help us to navigate and to see through all the mess that you are doing? Don't you think that God is, is going to take care of us, show us what you are doing? He takes care of his own. He goes to war for us. He does not play about us. So it doesn't matter what illusion you're trying to create and all of this stuff. It won't work. It's not going to work. It doesn't matter what illusion, what tricks, trickery or trickster spirit, any voodoo, witchcraft, you know, you're doing potion you're rubbing up on you you understand this is what i'm saying you know seven of cups break the deck grandiose temptation be careful about the apple be careful you think you have options again you see the wine in the cup this is what i'm talking about be careful of who you're drinking from Drinking and leaving your cup, your glass unattended, unsupervised. Because you think the people that you left your cup or your food around, they are your friends. Before you go to that bathroom, whatever, drink what you can drink. So when you come back, you don't need it anymore. If you need it, then go buy another one. Or ask for another glass of drink, something. But this is not the time to be trapped in illusion. This is the time we are in. It's, it's about your blessing. It's about your destiny. It's about your, your, your purpose. It's time to get serious. This is not time to fool around. To be a toy in the devil's workshop anymore. It's like for a lot of you, a lot of us, you've learned enough lessons to take you to the end of your life you don't need to volunteer for another one all because you want to seem as if you're kind and you're nice and you want to please people 
enough is enough. It's like that. It's finished. I'm telling you, it's like enough is enough. Because these people, they are ruthless. Five of Swords. They're in it to win it. And they want to win at all costs. What say you? So you need to protect what's yours. They are not playing fear. Again, you can't pet a snake. You can't tame a snake. It's like how you're going to take something out of another environment, bring it, you know, in your environment and thinking it's going to adjust. These people are from, you know, it's the, the spirit of the devil is completely different from the spirit of God. So it's like you can't put your fire in, in water. You know what I mean? It's like it's going to take, put it out. And this is what a lot of you, a lot of us have been doing. Thinking that we can help to save these wicked people. It's a choice. And they made their choice. Now it's time to make yours. And again, when you make your choice, they're not going to be happy about it. Because they hate the fact that you get away or you're getting away. So they're going to do everything in their power to try to come after you. But again, you are protected. You are protected. You are safe. God will take care of you because it's like you learn your lessons. And God is not going to punish you for running away from, from wicked people. He sees, he knows your heart. So yeah, so a lot of people, they're up to no good. Wow. What is meant for you won't pass you by. You will never have to force something that is truly meant to be. Trust in the perfection of divine timing and allow your life to unfold as it should. Whatever comes, let it come. Whatever goes, let it go. Again, like I said, they may have tried to, you know, remove Joseph from the picture. But it was destined for him to have a purpose. And God was going to see it through. He was going to see it through. Trust in divine timing. And this is what a lot of you have been waiting patiently. People come, people go. And this is what you're learning to, or you should learn. You know, stop being so clingy to people. If you, if you, if you have it hard to release relationship, you need help. You need counseling because it means that you have a codependency, a toxic, you know, abandonment issue or issues. It's like the song says, this world is not our home. We're only passing through. So therefore, as people come, we receive them. As they go, we let them go. And this is what I'm talking about. It's like some of us, we see the people around us in our life exactly who they are. And it's like you're allowing guilt to keep you trapped. If their mother and their father, who they have their DNA inside of them, can leave them, why can't you? Why can't us? God saves. We can't save these people. And they have to be willing. God is not even going to force them. It's a choice. It's like go with the flow. Go with the flow. God is removing people. Let him do it. He's bringing in people in your life. Let him do it. Let go and let God. You can't want to move forward, but you're still holding on to the past. It won't work. It will not work. If you find yourself constantly seeing reoccurring numbers or words, it is a sign that you are being supported, cared for, and divinely protected by God. Beautiful things are about to happen. It says you're protected by the universe, but when I see universe, I see God. So you're protected by God and beautiful things are about to happen to you. So some of you, you may be seeing 
regular numbers, pay attention. Again, the signs, the synchronicities. You may be seeing words, similar words over and over again. God is saying something to you. It's a message. You know, it's like, stop ignoring the warning signs. Stop ignoring the red flags. Stop seeing people just at surface level. Stop being bedazzled and fooled by people just because of their exterior. Hmm. So you are protected. God is for you. When you hold on to the past, it stops you from living in the present. Release any any old hurts or worries or regrets. Commit to being in the here and now. Forgive yourself for where you think you may have been wrong. You deserve inner peace. Let it go. Absolutely let it go. Heal the past. You know, the souls in your life, the Jezebels, the Delilah spirits, the Cains. Some of these are our own blood and, and flesh who sold us out. God is saying, release them so that you can move forward. No hurts, no regrets. When man and earth have done their best, angels in heaven can't do anymore. Even the people who weren't there with you. And they tell lies that they built you. They made you the man, the woman you are. Because again, that's all they have to go around and say. Because it's like, they have been wasting their time fighting you, wasting their money, trying to create blockages for you. Then in the end, they still have nothing to show. But all they can do is point to you and say, you see him, you see her. I help them to be where they are. When they could have used that time, along with all these people they have been working with, they could have come together and create a business. You understand? But no, they choose to work for the devil because they're lazy. Because they think if they help the bully to take you out, to take us out, then they will all get rich. I don't think so. God is not going to allow anybody to live rich or to live like a fat cat off of our box or our blessings. I don't think so. No, God is not going to do that. Because he says, if a man does not work, he shouldn't, he shouldn't eat. We should look at all these little insects. Look at the ants. They make sure they store up things for the winter. Look at the spider. They throw out their cobwebs. And then you have human beings, people who are supposed to be smart. And all they can do is the, the, the only blood flow they can create in their brain is to think about doing wickedness i mean make it make sense this is why i said you know with the the page of sword they're they're immature it doesn't matter what their birth certificate says they're childish they're petty hmm. mm -mm -mm. i'm telling you so yes yeah, so this is the time you know, to release, to let go and let God. It says, if you're worried, you don't have the strength to move on. Think of how much strength you're using to hold on. Then redirect that energy and enjoy your life. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's like a lot of these people, they're stuck. And instead, they're using the little bit of energy they have. You know, they're, they're already up there on the calendar. They're getting old or they're getting older. And they're wasting their life, their time, holding on to the past when they could, like a lot of you, a lot of us, people hurt us. And instead of sitting there crying and, and, and being victims of our circumstances or what life handed to us, we redirected that energy and turn it into to create in something we see the king of wands use it to create something start a business i don't know go make a, a build a flower garden something instead they want to use all of their energy 
to pouring it into into doing evil okay okay when you find yourself on dr phil's chair and he look over and ask you how is that working for you i i hope you have a better answer than you know your silence if you didn't get something you really wanted at this time, if you feel stuck or feel like things are not going according to your plans, know that something bigger and better is coming. It's something filled with divine magic that couldn't come into your life if you were to receive what you are asking for now. Yes, yeah, so whatever it is, you know, people have been trying to block and you've been patiently waiting for. You know, it's saying it is filled with divine magic. You know, it's like God is giving you, like back home we would say, brata. It's like, you know, when, say for example, you have a business, somebody orders something, it's, you know, and you know that they've been waiting and they've been patient and you add, you give them a few little extra things, you know, just to make up for it. This is what God is doing, divine magic. You know, it's like God had to wait for a lot of these people too to leave your life before he could bring this gift, this blessing like Jabez that you've been praying for. Because I'm telling you, these people, they're up to no good. They are no good. So it said the reason some people have walked away from you for no reason has nothing to do with you. They have been removed because God took them out. Yes. Yes. 